with the project. These new city resources were really critical in moving the effort forward. That half, you know, that two-point increase in the bed tax with 50 percent, these new resources were really critical in ha helping this finally move forward. And I think without the city, without their council, without the Tourism Development Commission recognizing this increasingly important role of proactive tourism product development, it would be pretty easy to see how this concept, a powerful concept, could sit on the sidelines for another five years or ten years or, or, or in reality potentially never be realized um, because there just wasn't that destination architect trying to move that right kind of concept and right opportunity forward. You know, one of the, the states we work quite a bit in is in um, uh, Illinois. And there are a couple of, of really powerful examples in Illinois uh, in which they've used that create part of the tourism product development triangle. But they've done that with non-traditional tourism partners. Um, now, many of you will know uh, John Deere, you know, probably one of the most iconic manufacturers of farm equipment, both nationally and, uh, and internationally. But I would... Um, I would guess that if I brought up the, the name John Deere to you, uh, the vast majority of you would, ha would have a blank stare on your face saying, what, what in the world does John Deere have to do with tourism? There's, there's no connection with the, the visitor industry. And for many, many years in the Quad Cities in, in Illinois, the John Deere's home, that was exactly the, the case. But 15 years ago, uh, the Moline and the Quad City CDB approached John Deere and talk to them about thinking about part of their marketing mix being joining arms and teaming with them as product development and thinking about John Deere being uh, in the visitor gate, being part of the visitor uh, industry. And John Deere had their world headquarters 